then I have the lovely Manchester inside joke. Some of you may get, some of you may not, but she will be assisting me today. So, uh, we were talking about uh, continuous connection and not always thinking of connection as happening just through the hand, okay? Any part of your body can be considered a connection lead and follow point. So, uh, first thing we did was I wanted to uh, clean up a couple of pet peeves I have when I, I'm dancing with a follower and the follower, I might do something as simple as a face loop and the follower just turns yourself arbitrarily when that wasn't what I was asking. So one of the things we played around with was getting a shake hand hold and we started off doing a face loop. Now, when the hand came straight up and over like she's combing her hair, there was nothing that told her to rotate. So she doesn't because I don't want her to rotate. I was using that as a tactic to be able to transition into a hand switch without always having to go, um, oh yeah, I need that hand. Okay, now I can do what I want. I should be able to keep dancing and make my hand switches, depending on what I'm gonna do next, as part of the movement. Not always have to just, oh, okay, I'm gonna just do this to switch. So, if he does not, if the leader does not create a rounding action. So if I wanted to take her around, I would rotate the hand around. I would bring her in, rotate the hand outside the framework of the torso. If it's staying within the framework of the torso, usually that is a non-rotating situation, okay? So we did that off of the sugar push, and then I had you do one where you started in a two-hand hold, and basically you just rotated your partner in the same direction, so if we cross, we're always facing each other. So what I did was, in the sugar push, I went one, two, three, and four. Now, I could stay here and play for a while, or I could have just immediately gone to the outside turn. So I can take it as a one, two, three, and four, five, and six, or I'll just play. There's no rush, and guess what? Notice I haven't taken it up over the head. When I take it over the head, it still does not signal turn, unless I create something that says rotate, okay? Okay, so then we started talking about keeping continual pressure. We had to do an exercise where you did flip-flops back and forth. Notice that when I rotate her, her torso is turning because she's got tone through her arm, through her body, and keeping a little bit of a frame. Now, I just switched, and then we had to start doing different parts of the body, and then we started taking it to extra rotation, and if I did nothing, she would go around until she felt another connection point. So we said, the wrist can be used, the outside of the forearm, inside of the forearm, tricep, bicep, front, back of the shoulder, front of the shoulder. See, I can use all different parts. I can use the hip, front of the hip, back of the hip, and if I don't do anything, she goes around. She is keeping that pressure in, and one of the things I said was, when you practice this, see, it's very easy for her to just keep going and do it on her own, and me not really leading it, see? So occasionally I said, Put a pause in and followers, make sure you keep that until you feel that other lead going in the other direction. So we put that into a practical where we brought the follower in, we rolled into a back-to-back -back position. So it was kind of like I was peeling, the reverse of peeling a piece of tape off, I'm peeling back, which got us into the back position. I create contact through my body so I can still lead her from there, regardless of whether I'm holding on or not. Then we took the hand and made the contact and rotated into what we call a, wheel, uh, a cockwheel. So I started rotating the follower, took her around, brought it down through, kept it going, lost the arm wrestling match, put it on my shoulder, pressed my shoulders against her. She maintained that pressure and we allowed it to keep going around. Real quickly, technique about this, we said leaders, when you go through this, Keep the follower on your right side. Keep the follower on your right side until you get to the cockwheel, then your shoulders will roll her around. And you can do it from either side, either hand, 
And notice we just keep walking around, moving around, staying in a continuous flow coming out of that, okay? And there you have it. Thank you very much. Thank you.